Hello and welcome to the ninth uh, part of the uh, JavaScript series. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to take a, a next step up and really um, talk about one of the main aspects of, of JavaScript and using object oriented programming language. Um, now it might be a, a lot to take in if it's the first time um, you've been ever introduced to this style of programming um, but this is the fundamental part of JavaScript okay for me to teach you lots of other things um, would, would be of no sense if you can understand this object oriented programming then JavaScript becomes such more powerful language okay if you want to just use um, the basic um, parts of JavaScript uh, then so be it but I want to teach you um, to be a, a good fluent JavaScript scripter okay programmer um, that can understand how to use it in a logical manner and without repeating uh, any code uh, and basically we're saving time sometimes wasting time in the beginning um, but then in the future you save time um, I can promise you that okay then without further ado let's get started okay so um, back to our JavaScript page um, where do we need to start what is an object first of all now as we explained in one of the first tutorials an object um, can be built up with um, child objects properties methods um, and so on now how do we um, put that into JavaScript how do we tell them we want to make an object okay well it has uh, a couple of ways of doing it I want to stick with the um, one of the simplest ways first of all um, because I don't want to confuse you with the other way okay but traditionally this way would be the the shorthand way but I think the shorthand way is going to assist you with learning it a little bit more okay so we declare first of all var okay and we don't have to declare var but we do it um, to say that this is a local variable okay um, it's just good practice um, later on um, you'll understand why when we start moving into um, functions and so on okay so var and we're going to call this a car Okay, and we're going to say equals assignment operator of equals. So anything on the right hand side of the equal sign, okay, is going to be passed to um, the variable of car, and that's going to set the value of car. Okay. Now we use the the forward, the open and close curly braces, followed by a semicolon. Okay. Now once we've got car, we can then set uh, properties of the car. Now we talked about previously the dot notation. Now car is then the main uh, object okay this is a, a descendant of a child of then the object um, class okay which I don't want to get into at the moment but it will let's just leave it for now okay so the car it has lots of properties uh, like a make and the model the engine size the color and so on now how do we set these properties to it now we have to manually set them because this JavaScript file doesn't know what a car is okay um, so we have to set them so we just use the dot notation now we say the uppermost um, um, parent object first of all we say car and then we can just say make and we can say that make is a BMW obviously we're then setting it to a string value okay and then ending it with a semicolon next we've got um, model if I can even spell this stuff correctly oh come on David and we'll say uh, 525 okay so now th then we could just say color as well for the sake of saying it and we'll say uh, red okay now that we've got this now um, we've managed to set the properties okay there's two things which you need to remember um, with objects okay not so much with JavaScript um, but this becomes apparent apparent later on when you use other um, uh, programming languages that properties can get set and you can also get the property in other words we've said car dot make now what we did first of all is we we did the declaration of car dot make okay it's the prop the make property of car so that was the declaration now using the equal sign we're initializing that one uh, property at the same time so we're doing a declaration and initialization all on the same line we could we could simply just say car dot make 
uh, and so on but it would kind of be redundant because we're not really actually setting it okay and, uh, and I'm kind of guessing that we'd actually get an error with this I don't know let's have a look okay no it wouldn't get an error um, but if we did uh, after this say um, document dot write car dot make okay and just see what property we get or what um, okay we get undefined there we go so that basically it has been declared okay but it's not been initialized now every um, property of an object if you haven't initialized it is going to be is going to have um, the value of undefined now potentially in JavaScript it doesn't it isn't defined until you actually initialize it therefore the the JavaScript it's there but it just doesn't know where it is because it hasn't been initialized therefore it just doesn't matter now what we can do um, within firebug I don't know how to uh, make this this text bigger uh, on here but we can come under the DOM which is a, object, uh, a doc, document object model excuse me and we can see down here is car and we can see the object here and you can see that make, model and color they've all been um, declared and initialized as well with a value now if we come back to here and we remove make okay, and then just refresh this again we can see that there's only model and color so all well and good us saying um, car.make um, we're kind of declaring it but it's not been initialized with a value therefore JavaScript um, or the browser has not recognized that it's there <coughs> why should it use up memory for something that um, just doesn't matter but the best way if you if you don't have any value set for it for yet then you're better off just setting it as null okay therefore it's been declared and it's been initialized to a value of null whereas that meaning that it has absolutely no value but at least it's been declared okay so we can now refresh this and we see that we've got none now but we get it now down here we can see that make is equal to null therefore we at least know that it's declared and you could use it later okay the fact of the matter there's nothing wrong with having a, a property that has no value it's just important to know that um, if and when you want to say hey what is it and what value is it <coughs> what value it has then at least you can say hey it exists and it has the value of null okay because it's nothing worse than something not existing and you're trying to compare something to something that doesn't exist so at least if you're going to use it later then declare it and initialize it with the value of null okay you're never going to make any problems when it is at null okay so now that just shows you how um, we set the value and we declare it and initialize it now obviously this is initializing it to null which doesn't make huge amount of sense but if you were using it later in your code it would um, okay so we've already potentially seen how to get the variable or to get the value sorry it's a simple way of saying um, var um, color equals car dot color okay so now when we call car dot color it's it's then returning the value which color is holding okay so that is then getting the value now so it's if we just uh, type here getting and if the keywords to remember is get now potentially here when we say color this is setting okay and the thing to remember here is set so you're you're setting a value and potentially this is initializing as well and the declaration all in one line okay this is a good things to remember declaration initialization okay is setting and getting the value or of something okay so when we want to get something we can say color now an object an object is um, an is something that with that holds many many properties and methods all in one so we can always reference it with one keyword that's the name of the variable which it has been set now this object has no name okay we're going to move on to that into the ne in the next tutorial it is just a a base object with no name whatsoever so when you use the curly braces you're saying hey just give me an object 
right? Nothing more than that. The JavaScript interpreter knows, okay, I see two curly braces, I'm going to I'm going to give you an object, all right? And it's going to make car an object. Now, if we come here again and we say um, plane equals this, okay? We can come over to Firebug, and you can now see here plane is an object straight away, okay? So it doesn't have any any properties or methods, um, but it has been initialized as an object. Alright, so although we're just using the curly braces, this is a short form of doing it. And in the next tutorial, I want to actually go into using um, using the name of objects and uh, another special uh, special keyword um, which you can use in JavaScript, um, which really needs its own explanation. Okay, so for the time being, if you want to make um, for this example, if you make an object which, when you use JavaScript programming, I would use objects for near enough everything um, where it has more than one value. Okay, just to say um, car, let's just say make equals uh, BM, oh, BMW, BMW, and then var car model equals 525, and then var car color equals red I mean yeah okay fine you've got those three pieces of information but well, what if you wanted then to make another car you'd have to go oh, wait a minute this is now BMW car or this is car make one and you have to remember all this stuff but whereas if you kind of then went well we've got our, our car one here if you then went car dot okay sorry let's Let's move on to it this way. Okay, um, on the initialization, you can also do this with inside of the curly braces. Okay, so what we can say here is make equals none. Okay, model, whoops, sorry, and each property is separated by a comma, not by a semicolon. Model equals null. Okay, and then color equals null. So what we've done is we've uh, declared and initialized all the properties and we've separated each declaration okay, or each declaration and initialization um, with a comma. Now when you use this method you have to declare and initialize um, at the same time and then, then, then they are preceded then with a comma. The separation between the key value pair needs to then use a semi uh, a colon sorry okay and this is all done with inside of the two curly braces ended with um, a semicolon. So now you have um, properties with inside of the car object, okay. Now, if we wanted to say car, say var, um, oh no, we could just say um, document. No, sorry, what am I doing? Car dot make equals once again, and then BMW. Type in it the first time, and I'm going to say document dot writes car.make. So potentially what we're doing here is we're setting the car.make because we've already declared it and initialized it to null. Okay, now we're setting car.make to BMW. Okay, now we're um, getting the car.make. Okay, so let's come over to here and we can see BMW and see within the car we now have um, the make set and the color null and the model null. Okay, which is good. But now what if we wanted then to have a um, a Mercedes one. Well, car is very generic for the object, which is good. Uh, but we now want to say, hey, we want to make a Mercedes one. We want to make a Toyota one, and, and so on. We don't just want to have one specific one for BMW. We want to have one for every single thing. Now, what we could do is we could then say, um, actually, I'm going to leave it for the next tutorial because this is uh, this. It is is far enough. There's a few other things which I want to explain before I do this. Okay, but that's potentially how you can um, declare and initialize properties within the car. Okay, or within an object, and how you can then get them and set them. Okay, um, let's just wait until the next tutorial. I want to keep them as short, sharp as possible, and we'll talk about them um, shortly. 
okay um, so I look forward to speaking with you in the next tutorial if you have any questions about this tutorial itself um, then please don't hesitate to um, send me a message okay um, either via um, YouTube or, or Facebook I'm sure my Facebook address is here where you can find me um, uh, okay this if you didn't understand um, this bit don't worry about it um, it's going to flow over into the next um, few video tutorials about it and then we're going to use them and keep using them and using them and so on okay um, that's it for now um, go over to the next video it's going to be there straight after I do this one um, I'm not releasing all these videos until the whole series is complete therefore when you see the first one they'll all be there as well okay alright thanks very much for watching my name is David Thorne goodbye <laughs>